Hello. Hello. Last few packs. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So, we've got a bit of Battle Scrolls. I think Vivid Voltage, we... Do? I don't remember opening anything from those six. But then, I keep... I keep, like, forgetting what we've Oh, right. Done. So, Battle Styles, we skipped. Um, but it came out just before Rebel Clash. A vivid Voltage, I'm sure we, we got a few of them. I think we did. So, which would you, would you like to open? Mm, I don't know. Is that the painting one? Maybe. And that's the Pikachu one. Yep. I don't know. Do you want to open that one? I'll open that one, seeing as that's the way they are. Okay. Or do you have a desire for the results? No. No, I'm fine. Should we open them together and then talk over each other about the different cards? No. Oh. Okay. But we can compare the art styles if we want to, whilst we've, uh, you know. Okay, ready? Dotla. What is that? I haven't got a clue. Evolves from Blipbug. What's a Blipbug? Random, random Pokemon. Pokemon. Sounds pretty random. Um, as it grows inside its shell, it uses its psychic abilities to monitor the outside world and prepare for evolution. Ooh. It's a fan. Fan of waves. There's another wave coming. <laughs> Cedra. Cedra. I haven't seen Evolves a card from. with Cedra for we'll a long see. time. No. Dragon Pokemon. It should say Seahorse Pokemon, clearly. Yes, yep. Um, it is capable of swimming backwards for... Uh, by, sorry, by rapidly flapping its wing-like pectoral fins and stout tail. Mm. Mm. Energy! What is this? Is this a butterfly Pokemon? Oh, no. Scale, scale Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh. Evolves from... Spoopa. These are all Pokemon I haven't seen before. Um, the pattern on the Pokemon's wings depend on the climate and topography of its habitat. Mm. It scatters colourful scales. Oh, shiny, shiny. Blipbug. Blipbug, which is what that other one random evolves from. And it says Lanva po No, Lava Pokemon. Sorry, Lanva. I don't know what Lanva is. Lava. As in lava, lava. Yeah, yeah. Not as in like volcanic La lava. Yeah. It's lava as in bugs. Yes. Hence blip bug. Yeah. Uh, often found in gardens. Oh yes, that's where you find bugs. This Pokemon has hairs on its body that it uses to assess its surroundings. Does that mean its eyes don't work? Maybe. Oh. Oh. Shiny and normal. Oh no. What the hell is that? It's a silly cobra. It's it a daft snake. It's basically. a sand snake Pokemon and it looks depressed. It looks depressed. I feel kind of sorry for that. Are you going to read it? Yeah, but look at its sad face. Um, it spews sand from its nostrils. Well, that would make me pretty sad too. While the enemy is blinded, it burrows into the ground to hide. Aww. Hound or. I'm trying to look around the thing. Um, dark Pokemon. Oh, he's got that single strike ability thing as well. They make repeated eerie howls before dawn to call attention to their pack. Mm. Oh, oh. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, oh, see. We've seen that one now. No, we haven't. We got the evolved. No, because you flipped it. You dropped yeah, it. Yeah, but read it. I am. Dragon Pokemon. It makes its nest in the shade of corals. If it senses danger, it spits murky ink and flees. So it's like a cross between a horsey seahorse and a... Lick it, don't I? Licking Pokemon. It licks filth clean with its tongue. Whenever it licks away... Uh, whatever it licks always stinks afterward. So whether it's really clean is questionable. <laughs> okay, your turn. It's not going to have a double shiny then, is it? 
Nose leaf. I know we've had that one before in this set. In this set? Yeah. It's a wily Pokemon. But really anywhere? Yeah. It li lives deep <laughs> in forests with its leaf on its head. It makes a flute whose song makes listeners uneasy. Ooh. Give me a trainer card. No, it's no. not. Shuckle. Shuckle? We've, I know we've definitely had Shuckle. It's a mold Pokemon. Look at how he looks at the flowers. Like flowers. It stores berries inside its shell to avoid attacks. It hides beneath rocks and remains completely still. Like mold. Well, that's where the molds come from. It's the fruit. Beauty. Beauty. There's not really much to say about that. Trainer cards now. Mm -hmm. Energy. Energy. Metagross. That is a good picture. Iron Lake Pokemon. It analyzes its opportunities with more accuracy than a supercomputer, which enables it calmly. Oh, so is that? No, it enables, enables it, it to, to calmly. calmly back back. Them into a corner. Yeah. The colouring on the card means you can't actually read that bit. Yeah. Helpful. It's really shiny. Shiny, shiny. Milsery. It is a cream Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon was born from sweet smelling particles in the air. Its body is made of cream. So you could eat it. Or turn it into ice cream. Oh, freezing. Yeah. Sea dot. Sea dot. I don't think we've had that in this set. I don't recognise that image at all. I do. Acorn do Pokemon, yep. If it remains still, it looks just like a real nut. It delights in surprising <laughs> foraging Pokemon. I know lots of people that when they're not standing still look like a nut. Eevee! I know we've had this, I know I've seen that even before. Wait, Eevee, you don't want to read it then? I no? do want to read you, it. Oh, you want to read the Eevee? Yeah. Uh, it's the ability to alter the composition of its body to suit the surrounding environment. Mm. Oh, where am I turning that one? I need to put that one down and turn this one. Yes, you do. Um, Riolu. It is an Imation Pokemon? A what? Imansion Pokemon? Im em em an em an uh, Emanation. Em 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 it's exceedingly it. energetic with enough stamina to keep running all through the night. Taking it for walks can be a challenging experience. I'm sure that's a real word that means something, but I think it means like continued movement or something. Chertile is a snapping Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, the inch of its teeth implies. Well, Apparently, the in itch. itch sorry, itch of its teething impair impair. Impels, sorry, impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front of it. It's got itchy teeth. Yeah, I can't read either. I want to go to the dentist. And we've got a shroppet. And it's a puppet Pokemon. There's a pro proverb that says, Shun the house where the shroppets gather in the growing dusk. Ah, very good saying. Yeah. What does that mean? Going into the house with the, um, <laughs> the mad, insane, bad things. The things that look yeah. like hankies. Floating hankies. Mm. Well, okay. Mm. Alright then, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.